Hi everyone, Joe Grisafi here. Another Topps Project 70 video for you, uh, unboxing video. FedEx just dropped this off at my house within the last 20 minutes of this recording. And let's dive right in. Um, I decided to open this one on camera like some of the others because last time I got a Ken Griffey Jr. number 12 foil, but I didn't open it on camera and that would have been kind of fun to watch. But let's see what we got here. They're only up to releasing or selling cards number 68 or so. So this is early in the set. I don't know exactly what's in here, but I've tried to consolidate my orders while I have some 10% off coupon codes. Uh, I don't know if this is best to try to get that foil or just place individual orders. If you don't have a coupon, it doesn't matter if you buy them all at once or uh, individually single cards or three packs because you don't save anything by combining the orders when you choose free shipping. And I always choose free shipping. I'll go right into the invoice here. Okay, so this is, I'm not going to look at that, 11 cards plus 5, so this should be 16 cards in here. Let's count them first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I did not score anything here. Now let's look at the invoice to see if that's correct. No markings on the invoice designating the possibility of anything special. Again, page two, no markings of anything special. I am so far mostly buying just three packs and a single here and there with the occasional five pack. I bought a five of the Akuna here because I like I like horror stuff too, so that's my appeal. This seems to be a very popular card. That would have been nice to get a foil. Um, that's uh, Alex Party as the artist. Let's take a quick peek at some of these. I don't think I'm going to open them all on camera because we know I didn't score any special hits. Albert Pujols. Yeah, this is a pretty bland card. But uh, my approach to Project 70 is buy the first card of every artist and then decide who I like. So this is one, who's the artist here? Soulfly. Chances are I'm not buying any more Soulfly's cards unless he does, Soul, man or, I don't know if Soulfly's a man or a woman, um, unless he or she does a player that I like. But that's pretty pretty bland. In my opinion, in my irrelevant opinion, about three minutes, 30 seconds in. I may not let this go past six minutes. Mariana Rivera. Now, not a fan of the art here. It's, I mean, it's clearly a skilled artist. This is, I can't read it from that far away. Morning Breath. What I did like about this one is the, the, the design of the, the card itself, not necessarily the art. I like, the, I like these project cards that actually look like a baseball card. What was this, uh, 71? Forgive me for not knowing, but I like the... I like it when they make it look like an older card. We're coming up on four and a half minutes. Clayton Kershaw. See, again, I like the cards that look like uh, actual cards. I love the 82 design. I love the 82 cards in general. So this one is uh, 
Clayton Kershaw, as far as a player, I'm indifferent. Um, not fan, not not a fan. But I like the design of the card. So this is an artist I may be following just because if, if he or she, Michael, uh, continues to do this 82 style, chances are I'm going to pick up a few. I haven't followed the prices of these. I'm not going in deep like I did Project 2020. Uh, I got wrapped up in the bubble cards. I was one of those guys and uh, not letting that happen again. I'm only, like I said, see, here we go. Again, I like, I like the cards that do that. See, this would be a good, that's a good match. Let's see, one, this is Jacob Rochester, and this is Morning Breath. So they're two different artists, so we got some crossover here, and that's kind of cool. These would look good together, displayed together, especially if there's others with the same card design. Got to be aware of where the, the angle I hold these at with the light. Yeah, so that's cool. I know some people bought stacks and stacks of Joe Adele's. What, how many did I buy? I bought one, two. I got a single and a three pack. Uh, this is just not good. This is not a good card. This is just silly. And this is old man Allen. Yeah. That just comes across as lazy to me. I forget what the print run on this one was, but I don't see any future for that one because it's just not, you can't even see the, can't even see Bellinger. Pictures aren't even good. That is lazy. And I kind of liked Old Man Allen in Project 2020. He did have some lazy cards, but he had some nice ones too. We're at seven minutes. Almost 30 seconds. This is going to be the last one I open since we know there's no hits in here. There we go. So I got one three pack with this card and then I bought five. This is the only one I bought five of in this particular order. A lot of people bought multiples of this, but I think this one will uh, hold its, at least its retail value. No matter how many were printed. I think it was twelve to 15000 but yeah, you got some crossover here. Got the baseball fans, and if horror fans find this card, they might buy some. And then, of course, the fans of the artist, and the artist is Alex Party. Yeah, that's that's a fun card. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm sorry I'm not going to open the rest. It just gets tedious. Um, so thanks for watching. Check back for more if you do enjoy this. And please subscribe to my channel if you like video game stuff, baseball card stuff, and filmmaking and acting stuff. Now, as far as baseball cards go, I am not nearly as educated as many YouTubers, but I do enjoy it. So if you just enjoy watching what I get, um, that's great. If you're looking for new information, I am not up to speed on the current trends and sets and variations, but uh, I enjoy doing this and I am glad that you guys, at least some of you, tune in. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon. Bye. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old bar.